While Steel on Musk's SpaceX is pursuing some of humankind's most challenging endeavors, a little-known aerospace company called Rocket Lab is quietly building a satellite launch and space systems empire. In this video, we will unearth the secrets behind Rocket Lab's Electron Workhorse and Neutron 2050 spacecraft and explore how Rocket Lab's use of vertical integration will soon enable low Earth orbit domination. With that said, our wonderful team here at Nanalyze has researched, written and curated hundreds of in-depth articles on everything from quantum computing to space exploration. The Nanalyze article, Just How Low Can Space Talks Go, was the inspiration for this very video. If you would like to support Nanalyze and support these videos directly, then please click the first link in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. It's very much appreciated. May 25th, 2017, an 18 meter tall electron rocket sits upon Launch Complex 1A located on the picturesque Maiar Peninsula, New Zealand. Several hours after loading the liquid oxygen and kerosene propellant, the T-minus countdown hits zero. Nine sea-level Rutherford engines roar to life, producing 190 kilonewtons of thrust, equivalent to a 747 jet at takeoff. As Electron continues skyward, the sea-level Rutherford engines throttle down. The first stage separates, falling back to Earth for a controlled splash down in the ocean. A single vacuum optimized Rutherford engine then propels the second stage to orbital velocity. The second stage jettisons the fairings before deploying the payload. On May 2nd, 2022, Rocket Lab caught the first stage using a Sikorsky S-92 helicopter in an effort to recover the booster before splashdown in the ocean. Unfortunately, even though the catch was successful, the pilot decided to detach the booster from the helicopter due to safety concerns. Since the inaugural flight, Rocket Lab has launched Electron a further 32 times carrying a variety of customer payloads, including the NASA capstone CubeSat, a satellite designed as a pathfinder for NASA's Artemis Gateway spacecraft. Unlike the colossal Saturn V, an era-defining space shuttle, the Electron launch vehicle is manufactured from state-of-the-art carbon composites, which enables Rocket Lab to manufacture one Electron rocket every 12 hours. Each Rutherford engine is also 3D printed in approximately 12 hours. As a result of Electron's reliability and partial reusability, it has become the second most frequently launched US rocket, beaten only by the SpaceX Falcon 9. When comparing the two launch vehicles, we can see the Falcon 9 is far superior to Electron in every category, from size to payload capacity. If you were to launch one kilogram of mass into low Earth orbit, or LEO, with Electron, it would cost you $25,000. With Falcon 9, it would only cost you $3,350. Even though Electron is over seven times more expensive for launching one kilogram, we need to understand that both these companies cater to drastically different customers with unique sets of requirements. I'll explain later in the video why Rocket Lab is recommended for smaller customers and how this could be Rocket Lab's silver bullet to winning the commercial space race. The year is 2050. The 40 meter tall Neutron Heavy Lift Launch Vehicle sits upon Launch Complex 3, located in the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport, or Mars, on Virginia's eastern shore. Liquid oxygen and methane are fed into the propellant tanks, completing the load and go procedure. Seven sea level Archimedes engines ignite, propelling the spacecraft with almost 6,000 kilonewtons of thrust, equivalent to 30 747 jets at takeoff. Once in orbit, the two fairing halves open and remain attached to neutron, similar to 1967's you only live twice spacecraft hijack scene. The heavy payload is deployed and Neutron returns to Earth. Unlike Electron, Neutron does not perform a splashdown in the ocean and is not caught midair by a helicopter. Rather, the rocket performs a propulsive landing back at the Mars spaceport because Neutron is a fully reusable rocket. Due to Neutron's larger payload capacity of 13,000 kilograms and 5 meter fairing diameter, Rocket Lab has hinted at a human rated Neutron variant designed to transport astronauts to the International Space Station and LEO. 
which may put Rocket Lab in direct competition with the SpaceX Dragon capsule and Starship spacecraft. Neutron will be constructed from lightweight and high strength carbon composites using automated fiber placement. Although carbon composites are ideal for orbital re-entry, they can be notoriously difficult to work with when constantly iterating on the design of the rocket. This is partly why SpaceX chose 304L stainless steel rather than carbon composites for Starship. With both the SpaceX Starship and Rocket Lab Neutron entering service later this decade, we can see that the Starship launch vehicle is far more capable across the board with its greater payload capacity and overall form factor. Neutron's estimated launch cost is not yet publicly available, so we cannot draw cost comparisons just yet. On March 16th, 2020, Rocket Lab acquired Sinclair Interplanetary for $42 million, which for over 20 years has specialized in the design and manufacture of star trackers and reaction wheels. Star trackers are an essential component in any spacecraft as they let the onboard computer know the orientation of the spacecraft. Reaction wheels act like a gyroscopic stabilizer, which orientates the spacecraft. On October 21st, 2021, Rocket Lab acquired Advanced Solutions Incorporated for $40 million, which has almost 180 cumulative years of running spacecraft software. ASI software manages everything from guidance and navigation to spaceflight simulations. On November 15th, 2021, Rocket Lab acquired Planetary Systems Corporation for $42 million, which since 1998 has developed spacecraft separation systems. These components are required when deploying payload in orbit from a spacecraft's second stage. PSC has also developed a dedicated CubeSat dispenser, which is essential for rideshare missions, and the company's system has been used on a plethora of launch vehicles including the SpaceX Falcon 9. Finally, on January 22, 2022, Rocket Lab acquired Sol Aero Technologies for $80 million, which specializes in solar infrastructure for CubeSats, SmallSats, and Constellations. Sol Aero solar cells are the highest efficiency commercially available products in the industry at 33.3% efficient. Bank of America projects the space industry to have a 1.4% trillion dollar total addressable market or TAM by 2030. NASA is returning humans to the moon with the Artemis program. And according to Statista, commercial small satellite launches are expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 15% between 2018 and 2030 to some 1,044 annual launches. With these strategic acquisitions, Rocket Lab is exceedingly well positioned to take advantage of this new era in government and commercial spaceflight. Coupling this with the Electron and upcoming Neutron launch vehicle, Rocket Lab has the potential to dominate low Earth orbit. SpaceX may have the upper hand when it comes to launch capabilities for customers and a more diverse spacecraft offering. However, they also have a different set of priorities for this decade, right the way through to the 2050s. SpaceX's objective is to establish a self-sustaining colony of 1 million inhabitants on Mars. This will be funded by the Starlink Global High Speed Internet Service, delivering customer payloads to orbit with Starship and transporting passengers from country to country using Starship. Rocket Lab aims to become a leader in end-to-end -end space systems. This involves assisting customers by designing their satellites and constellations, manufacturing the hardware and developing the software in-house, launching the product into orbit, and finally managing the customer's payload when in orbit. With this vertically integrated supply chain, Rocket Lab's products have short lead times, reduce cost, and enable the company to easily scale production. This benefits both small and large customers, as most of the heavy lifting, pun intended, can be carried out by Rocket Lab. If you would like to support and analyze and gain access to hundreds of premium articles, then please click the first link in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support and feel free to click the video on screen now as it contains an exceedingly powerful message which will assist you on your investing journey.